Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying the lectures. As a part of this lecture, we will understand Hive architecture. As we understood, Hive is a open source data warehouse which uses HDFS as the storage system. Hive is one of the important component which is widely used across the Hadoop ecosystem. So it is very important to understand what is the architecture of Hive. In Hive architecture, we have two important aspects at a high level. One is Hive clients. The second one is Hive services. In Hive clients, we have three clients, Hive Thrift client, Hive JDBC driver, Hive ODBC driver. Through these clients, we'll be able to access the Hive services. Within Hive services, we have command line interface and then we have Hive server and we have Hive web interface. We have at the core four important components. One is a driver, second one is a compiler, the third one is execution engine and the fourth one being Metastore. We'll look at all these things one by one. There are three ways you can access the Hive, which is in a way covered as a part of the Hive architecture. One of the ways through Hive command line interface. It is the most commonly used interface to access the Hive. Whenever you want to access the Hive, usually we work on the Hive command line interface. The second one is Hive web interface. If you want to access the Hive through GUI, that is graphical user interface, we can go through Hive web interface. But what you got to do is you have to configure it during the Hive installation itself. The third one being Hive server. Users can submit their Hive jobs from a remote client. You understood where does the Hive server sit, right? If you see here, Hive thrift client, Hive JDBC driver, and Hive ODBC driver goes through Hive server. Hive server, it runs Hive as an integrated server to expose a thrift service. That integrates the access to the number of clients which are written in multiple programming languages. So there are applications like JDBC, ODBC connectors that need to be connected through Hive server. Now, coming to the important component within the Hive, that is driver. What a driver does is it receives the submitted queries. Who is submit the query? The users or developers are submitting the queries. Once driver receives the queries, which queries we are receiving? You are seeing the Hive queries. The moment driver receives the Hive queries, it creates a session handle for the submitted query. Then it sends the query to the compiler to generate an execution plan. Compiler takes the queries which are sent by a driver and it parses them. What do you mean by parsing? It will go one by one and sees which query has to do what. And it performs the semantic analysis on a different query blocks. Because as we know, query may not have only a few lines of code, right? It may have many lines of code. It may have blocks of code. What compiler does is it performs the semantic analysis. What is semantic analysis? Semantic analysis judges whether the syntax structure constructed by a source program derives a meaning or not. In a way, 
it is a grammar of a particular programming language so whatever the high query you have written that need to be written in a some way in terms of structure in terms of uh, syntax in terms of the grammatical aspects of a language compiler performs whether the query you have written is conforming to the standards or conforming to the grammar within the high query language after that it generates an execution plan next important thing is execution engine what execution engine does is it executes the execution plan created by the compiler remember compiler has taken the query from a driver and it has done a semantic analysis it and it has created a execution plan all execution engine does is takes that and go ahead and executes the execution plan so execution engine executes the execution plan created by the compiler how will the plan look like plan will be in a dag format what is dag it is a directed acyclic graph it is one of the important format it may be there in a even hive will cover that as a part of a spark dag is a model for scheduling the work in this model jobs are represented as vertices in the graph and the order of the execution is specified by the directions we'll see that as a part of the spark for now the plan which is created by a compiler which need to be executed by execution engine in hive is in the form of tag whatever the dependencies between the stages we do have a stages right those dependencies are managed by the engine and it executes all the stages which are there as a part of the dag we will cover the meta store in detail as a part of the next lectures coming to the hive server 2 the latest version of the hive run on hive server 2 why is that hive server 2 supports the concurrent clients and it has a better authentication and authorization we have b line command line which goes through high server 2 so it is always advisable to go through high server 2 because it has a wonderful authentication and authorization even table looks like in b line is much better than the high server 1 we have already in a way touched upon this we have high command line interface and b line command line interface in high command line interface it directly accesses the high meta store and driver it will not go through high server 2 on the other hand b line command line goes through high server 2 and it is more secure wonderful we understood the hive architecture at a high level thank you mm -hmm.